Feeling Retro. Hey guys, welcome to the channel of Feeling Retro. Today we're taking a beginner's look at how to set up some vintage hi-fi equipment. If you're a beginner and this is the first time you're setting up a vintage or a retro tape deck, a radio tuner, an amplifier, receiver, vinyl turntable, then this is a perfect video for you. We're going to take a look at some of the very basics to get your system set up if you've just gone out to a thrift shop, a charity shop, a car boot sale and you've picked up some gear and you're excited to get it set up. So let's get stuck into the Sony equipment that we've got today and let's break it down. So the first thing you're going to need is something that looks a little bit like this. This is a digital integrated amplifier. Now these come in all shapes and sizes. They can look very different to this. They can be smaller, they can be bigger. But the important thing about these is the back. So let me turn this around and show you. So this here is the back panel of the amplifier and the important parts of it for you if you're wanting to set up and plug in some equipment is this part here. These red and white cable ports is where all of your equipment can be plugged in. So this is where your tape deck can go. This is where your turntable can go. This is where a CD player can go, amongst other things as well. But you can see here along the left-hand side, it's telling you where to plug those things in. These red and white cables are what you're gonna to need to plug in and link in. Now, the reason you need this amplifier is because equipment like this turntable, for example, doesn't produce sound on its own. It has no speakers, it has no way of converting it into sound. And the magical kit that's going to get this turntable producing sound is these cables right here. These cables right here are how you can attach all of your components into the amplifier. And once you plug those in, you'll be able to get some power from it and plug some speakers in and get sound from it too. So let me show you how that works. These RCA cables will always have a red and a white. You can also get yellow ones. You might recognize those from old TV sets. But for most musical systems, this is how they're going to look. And they will match up to the amplifier like so. This Sony piece of equipment here is fairly common in that it's also a radio tuner. So it's a radio tuner and it's also got built into it the amplifier. So we'll spin this around and I'll show you how that works. A fairly common sight on the back of a turntable like this is to see a cable coming out from the back and on the other end of that cable you've got those familiar red and white cables. You've got to find these and on the back of your amplifier you should see some signs like phono, CD aux, record out and tape. You might be wondering why isn't there a spot for turntable? Well that's exactly what we need phono for over here. So. Let's get that plugged in and let's make sure we get the colours correct. We've got red on the bottom and white on the top. I've also done the same here with our tape deck, line it in and line it out. And if we follow those down, you'll see that they're plugged in just there. And that's it. It's as simple as that, would you believe? If you've been sat there wondering at home for a while, how am I going to get this to work? That's it. You're just going to need some red and white RCA cables. After that, you're also going to need, believe it or not, some speakers. You can go as big as you like. Today, we're using some fairly small little compact speakers because they're just easy to work with. There are many different connection types on the back of speakers. This here, what you're looking at is the most simple. It's a red and a black input and a red and a black cable. Now this looks like there's a lot going on, but actually if we follow the cable round, all you'll see is that it's going into the speaker ports there. We've got speaker A and speaker B. That's just one speaker and two speakers. You might find that there's lots and lots of speaker port, cable ports here. You don't need to use them. And we just match those up, red and black. Looks like my black's coming out a bit. I could put that in a bit tighter. And would you believe it? It is as simple as that. You need two key things, the red and the white RCA cables and some speaker cable too. Today, we're looking at using the radio. So we've got the Sony here. We've also got the tape deck, again, Sony from the 1980s. And on the top, we've got a wonderfully stylish, great looking Sony turntable as well. Let's get it powered up. So we need to turn the amplifier on. 
you then should see that there's some options on your amplifier to switch between those sources. So, bonus point, can anybody remember? What did we plug in our turntable as? You're right, that was plugged in as phono. So we've got to make sure that our amplifier is switched onto the right source, just like you would with a TV nowadays if you wanted to switch to PlayStation 4 or a DVD player, you'd have to switch the source on the TV to match. You'll also see that there are some other settings. You can usually change some things about the speakers. You can turn them on and off. You can just have one of them on. And as you would expect on any music system, you can change bass and treble and balance as well. So that's enough of me talking. Let's have a quick listen. <laughs> to amend the volume and use the amplifier. We should then be able to switch from source again, just like you would be able to on a TV. And let's have the tape on now. So we've got a tape in. And because you can select the source here, we can click on tape monitor, which switches us over from phono, which was the turntable, over to the tape as well. We can turn the volume up and just check it out as I show you a couple of the other basic features that you can do with most amplifiers. I look at you. Thanks for joining us retro lovers on today's short journey of showing you how to hook up some vintage stereo and hi-fi gear and getting them to work if this is your day number one on your retro journey. Check out the channel where we explore and enjoy some other retro gear from amplifiers to tape decks to turntables to all sorts of things that you might be interested in buying and looking into when you get further into your retro journey. If you weren't already, I hope today you're feeling retro.